Next is tiredness. When you're tired, you just want to sleep. But because of the energy they have, they may not be looking sleepy, but they're tired. Fatigue has already set in for them, but we really don't sleep well. Because they still see fascinating things around. They still want to engage themselves. You are thinking, oh, he's still up, he's still available to work. Meanwhile, he is tired. He needs to be given that time to sleep. He needs to find the time to go and sleep. This next one is funny. Color. Color can be offensive. And color can be charming. There are some colors that are so offensive to them. They don't like some color. We've seen a case whereby there's a, a, a color in the child's room does not uh, allow her to sleep on time. Over the night, he's awake or true. He's jumping around. But immediately he comes out of that his own room to his mommy or daddy's room, he's sleeping. We, we were able to identify that is the color that they need to change. Now, blue is another one. These children are so sensitive that they know if your mind is with them, if you like them or if you love them, they know. They know if you hate them. So I don't know how they know that, but they are they are aware of who you are around them. If you engage them with love and passion, they flow with you. If you are the type that pretends you love them, meanwhile when you are one on one with them, then it's is a is a different thing entirely and in the presence of some people they will resist you and and that's why you see some kids they see an adult coming an adult they've been seeing for a while coming and they are crying already blah 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 another one is redirection or corrective method what sort of corrective method do you use or how do you redirect a child on spectrum when the child engages uh, in, in an in inappropriate behavior this needs to be looked into. The direction matters. If you are the person that yells over a child, whenever the child does something wrong, they don't like it. If you are yelling or shouting over a child that is sound sensitive, then the child, on seeing you next time, the child is already resisting. Or you are the, you are the type that will pinch a child or that will smack a child. This sort of redirection can 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 make them to persist you at any point in time or can even make them to not like you or to dislike you at any point they see you and you trying to engage them you can make them to to go into make that. In a nutshell, I think with all this point it just means for us to be sensitive and to be aware of what could possibly lead into make them for these children and you are on top of your game you are able to work with them effectively even as a parent you are able to to engage them you just need to be observant probably it's just something you need to remove maybe it's just color maybe it's somebody shouting maybe it's just smell maybe the new odor that you have in your house is what is making the child or maybe the body spray you use is, is what is too strong for this child to bear that's why it's you just need to find out that's all and all oh, will be good. Thank you so much. I hope you learned from this too. For your comments, please don't hesitate to drop it. I love your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe. There are also propellers to move on. Thank you. Bye.